back here, Derby's firewood. Well, as y'all can probably tell, it rained a little bit. We got some good rain yet last night. Um, kind of makes a little moist to do uh, firewood, but that's okay. Uh, you can't have a perfect day every day. But uh, it's about 50 degrees. Uh, of course, in Texas, we're freezing to death. And um, we're going to do some firewood today. I uh, got me a poor, I, what they call it, everybody's calling a poor man's processing station set up. I'll show you that. Uh, in the previous video, I was working on getting it set up, got the uh, sacrificial, sa sacrificial logs in place to um, get this process going. Um, I did use it a little bit. I didn't film it. Um, you know, life happens and uh, I didn't have the opportunity to film that first time using it, but I will tell you I really like it and it seems like it sped up the process a whole lot better. And uh, I won't be putting my chain in the dirt as everybody tells me I do. Um, but anyways, I'm going to bring y'all along and uh, hope y'all enjoy it. And uh, heck yeah, let's go have some fun. <music> the setup I got a some I believe that's red oak on there uh, I might be wrong I'm not an expert uh, but anyhow I got two old pine logs laying there and I got this sitting on here and I'll come through here and mark the 16 inch pieces and I have the splitter and I got the splitter right there I'll set a basket there and we'll pull them right off there and get them on the splitter. It's really made a, a difference in not having to bend down so far to um, pick up the rounds because they're pretty much almost at waist height right there and it really saves the back. I don't have a log lift yet. i um, hoping one day to have a log lift uh, where I can not have to use the tractor all the time or bust them up with a maul or noodle them or whatever for it, where I can pick them up, put them on this black diamond. Um, I did see some folks uh, modify their tilt splitters like this, uh, put a, uh, you know, homemade log lift on there. I thought about doing that, but I don't know. I just may go buy me a push through, a push through style splitter, boy, it's tongue twister, and um, with four-way, you know, four-way on it and all that. and. And, and with a made to have a, a log lift, uh, I think that'd be the better bet. Uh, but that, that's on down the road sometime. Um, as is anything, as business grows, or you know, I start selling enough wood to go pay for it, and then that's what I'm gonna do. But anyhow, we're gonna mark this uh, log up and uh, cut it up into rounds.
that's how I'm gonna process the wood out here. Um, it's a lot easier on my back, and uh, I think I'll get a lot more work done. Uh, Y'all be safe out there, and uh, please like and subscribe.